the Colt Python. As far as beauty contests, this one definitely wins. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going. We're coming to you in full HD, and we are looking at the Colt Python. These things are just gorgeous. These revolvers are some of the finely crafted revolvers. I mean, these things are just absolutely amazing. The action, everything on it, just, you know, if you can hear, the things just run like a clock. There is no action that feels like this, uh, like this Python. These things are gorgeous and amazing. They just work like a clock, I tell you. And they're super accurate, very accurate. Taking these things out and shot them at, you know, uh, had a guy actually just to give you a story. Uh, we was out shooting, and I shot with a fella that have never he's never shot a handgun, and he shot a bowling pin at 60 yards with this gun, with one of these uh, six-inch barrel pythons, and in a 38 with a 38, not even a 357. So, um, <laughs> you know, and it, it they're amazingly accurate. They're just supreme guns this one's uh grips are all original um you know back if you watch some of my uh videos i got on the uh, buying collectible used guns and stuff you know that's a big one when you have a python do you have the original uh grips on there because these grips alone can cost you 300 bucks or more uh depends on its condition and what generation it's from Anyway, uh, the Python is just absolutely beautiful with that vent rib on the top, the full under lug and everything. Um, this is kind of what uh, this gun is why kind of almost like if you look at the Smith & Wesson 586 or the 686, it looks very similar to this. In fact, it's almost the same frame size. The only thing they didn't add that Smith & Wesson didn't add was the ventilated rib. Um, this was kind of the answer to uh, just their revolvers looking a little dated in the you know during the time and so by the time 1955 rolled around Colt wanted to revamp the way their revolvers looked and so they added in that vent rib and under lug and dressed it up a little bit and beefed up the frame and you know just kind of made a supreme gun um, these things were issued out to a lot of police departments mostly in the four inch configuration and so Somewhere along the line, I'm sure somebody just started to realize, people were realizing, man, these things are just like made unbelievable craftsmanship in it. The action, the accuracy, everything. Collectors started to just get them, box them up, put them away, and never touch them, never fire them. Of course, today, those ones are commanding a serious amount of money. Uh, and so, it, I bought mine, I've had this thing for probably four or five years, and you know, with a price I paid for back then and looking at the prices now, I am in shock. I cannot believe how expensive these things have gotten. And just, you know, you look at Gun Broker, just Gun Broker, go there and look up Colt Pythons. I mean, every barrel length, every type of finish, I mean, they are just going for just silly money, ridiculous amounts of money. Um, and uh, there are today, you know, with my budget, I can't afford to buy one with today's prices. There's no way. You know, um, the, some of the ones with the one, in, like the two inch barreled ones, the, the little snubby ones, those are premium priced ones. I mean, they're just, so it matters on the barrel length. The six is kind of actually common. Uh, most of them, what you see is in six. The four would be the next one that's really desirable. Uh, the four, I think, is actually more desirable, in fact, I think, than the six inch barrel because the four was the the trooper gun. Uh, that was what was most of the police guys had, you know, back in the 70s. In fact, if you like Magnum Force, you definitely love this gun. That's what Dirty Harry's adversaries are carrying in that movie. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's it. The Python right here in all its glory. Just thought I'd bring it out to you in full 1080p high definition. Look at those grips. Look at the logo. And right there, Python 357 Magnum cartridge. Now they, they had to, um, you know, put uh, the cartridge and everything there. I think they, there was some run-ins with, because uh, Smith & Wesson actually was the developer of the 357 Magnum cartridge back then. So they kind of had to change it up, I think, under stampings. Not sure all the, the details, the fine details on that, but there was some 
some of the things going on right there. So the top is uh, more of a flat black so you don't get the glare and everything and then the sights uh, pinned in there. Rear sights adjustable. And like I said, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous, sexy, beautiful in 1080p here coming to you at the Batjack channel. So, well, we've uh, slobbered on it enough. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. That's a close up in HD of this beautiful, beautiful Colt revolver. Um, the Python is just absolutely amazing. And of course, there's the other snake guns you got. Um, basically, your main ones are the Python, which is in the 357 Magnum. You got your Diamondback, which is in 38 Special and 22. Uh, LR and you got your uh, Anaconda which is in 44 Magnum. They all pretty much look like this But none of them have the action like the Python. This is the ultimate right here So appreciate you guys watching. This is in full HD. Hope you enjoy it Thanks for uh, you know clicking on the channel. Thanks for checking us out here Appreciate you watching and your support and your kind comments I'll catch you next time on another video signing off